Hi, it's John from the Tech Den, just running through the different ways of connecting up the different ways of doing air pumps. Uh, with air pumps, the larger type ones, you can get what they call a manifold, and the manifold fits in the front of the air pump, and you just add the air lines onto each piece. By doing it this way, it's probably one of the most inefficient ways of actually doing it, because each time you add an air line, you'll run off probably lengths of 2, 3, 4 and 5 metre lengths which is going to reduce the performance of the air passing through the airline. So this is what generally comes with most of the units, but generally a better way of doing it is doing what we call a open loop. So what happens with the open loop is, this is one that we've got running in the store at the moment, and as you can see it just runs down the top there, and it uses 19mm irrigation tube right the way along. Now what we actually do is it runs in a whole circle around the back of the system and back up. This provides even pressure throughout the tubing. So what it does is that you won't have some tanks that are finding it harder than others. The other good thing about it is you'll notice here where the airline comes down into the tank. Now by having the shorter airline this also improves the performance of the unit. So the small, smaller the lengths of the airline and having even pressure will be a better way of running these larger type air pumps. So depending on how you have your system set up, the, my personal preference is to have the unit up on top so that way no water can actually get to the unit. So if the power goes off or anything like that, you don't get any reverse siphoning and just run what they call an open loop which basically runs all the way around the back back up and back to the top and that gives you the even pressure and just dropping down the lines and that's just using that choice versus the manifold for the larger type air pumps thank you